Hello mermaids! It's Marie from Aqua Mermaid and today we are at the Mermaid House at the Serenalia House and I'm with Erin and we're gonna go do a tour of this fantastic house where they make real mermaid tips. Let's do it! Then can you tell us here what is it this room? Well this is our studio, this is where all the magic happens. We have molds for our stars and our scales and our flukes and we just bring those in here and pour them, we'll pigment them, all that. Painting happens outside, since that can get kind of messy. I'm Erin, and I've been working here for a little over a year, and we make them. I went to the San Marcos Mermaid Festival in 2016, and I met Sirenalia there, and I asked them about getting a job, and they were like, we don't really need people to work for us at the moment, so I kind of waited a year or two, and then I emailed them, and I was like, hey, can I come work for you? And she's like, yeah, come on in, Tuesday. <laughs> Look at the studio and you'll get a job. I was like, yes. So ever since then, I've been working here. But did you have any experience? Not at all. You just love mermaids. Yeah. I really just do it for fun. Definitely beats working at like Taco Bell. My favorite part about working here is pouring the stars because a lot of the time, People don't know what color they want, so we can suggest a color and you get to mix all these different things together and get... Sometimes you don't even know what color it's going to come out as and it's always a surprise and it's just beautiful every time. Right now we're working on this tail for our mermaid friend. We're seaming it right now. It's the part that fits every part of their body exactly so it looks like it's their skin. And what material are you using? 100% silicone. I just kind of jumped right into it. Um, I watched other people do it, and I kind of got the hang of it, and I just started practicing. Now I know how to do it. Craziest project, probably, we have these mermaid influencers, so they'll come up with a design, and we'll, they'll have like all these different chains and jewels hanging off of them, and we don't even know sometimes if we can make that happen, but we always give it a, sh a shot, and in the end, it may not come out the way they want it to, but it always comes out looking so great. We ask them to create their own coloring sheet so that we know what they want, and then we'll put our own pigments to the colors that they picked out. There is a secret. It's that only silicone sticks to silicone, and that can be really hard to deal with sometimes. <laughs> sticking the stars to the bra and the net, it has to completely soak through or else it will just come right off. Silicone is a lot like skin, so if you were to sew it on and you pulled on it, it could just rip, rip right mm. through the silicone. So we sew our net to the top so, so that that doesn't come off, but we have to completely soak everything in silicone so that it, it creates kind of like a bond mm -hmm. through, through all of it. We could easily make one of these in a day. I try to, but um, with drying time and other projects going on, we sometimes, we give ourselves like four to six weeks for shipping and like painting. This one, ones like these are super easy to make because we don't have to paint them, we just pour them and put them right on. But if they want a custom paint job, we have to probably spread that out over a week. This one and like this base color, we mix it into the silicone, but these sparkly spots on top, we have to use an airbrush and we mix part silicone and naphtha, which is like a thinner, so that we can paint it with silicone. Hmm. Which type of mermaid are you? I'm a very goth mermaid. My tail is all black. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Yeah, this is one of our special fleets. And what's, what's special about it? These are our most normal flukes. These are like the basic ones that come Like you mean it. the shape? Yeah, the shape of it. And these ones we cost, we charge a little extra for because- They're bigger. Yeah, more material. Wow. And I'm just really curious because I have a silicone tail mm -hmm. and it's super sticky. Oh. And this is like, it's not sticky at all. Yeah. Does it feel like this kind of sticky? Yes. Probably uh, just, it's like shiny and stuff. I wonder if that's because it's not painted or did they? Yeah, it? I don't even paint it. That's probably. Then you put paint all over this? Yeah. 
we pour it in black and then we go in and airbrush it in case there's any spots that you can see through. But um, the thing is like if you paint it, does it like the scratch will remove the paint? It will sometimes, but that usually takes like a year or so to happen and you can oh, always yeah. send it back to us and we'll just paint right over it. So. Which kind of paint do you use? Like silicone paint? Yes. Uh, we actually mix silicone and naphtha together, yeah, and just pigment that and airbrush it. Oh, this is all airbrush, it's not with like a real brush. Right, it's right. Airbrushed. Perfect. That's how we get these like blended. Cool, and you made th this one yourself? Yes. I mean, with help from other people. Mm -hmm. We take their measurements, it's like from the hip to the, le the knee, and then like knee to ankle. It's, I don't know, but there's a lot of measurements coming in. There's a lot. It's like down every side and then around. And then we have a universal measurement for ankles because even if your ankle's smaller, you wouldn't be able to get your feet through. So mm -hmm. we have like all of our ankles have to be at least five inches. Oh. And like, what's the weight of this thing? Like 25 pounds. It's like, so it's pretty, <laughs> pretty heavy. And then, did you make your own custom fluke in this? Because it looks pretty big. Yeah. Yes, actually, because the monofins that we order for our regular pills, it wouldn't have fit this. So I had my dad make a different one. It's all closed up right now, but yeah, out of Lexan, and I just had him like carve out the shape. So this is a trial run, actually, because we didn't know if this was going to work. Yeah, I'd say somewhere like 30 hours. If you 30 were hours. Yeah, just working Nothing on it. else but the trail, yeah. Can you show us where you do the painting? Yes. Here we have a lot of mermaid tails that were tested uh, for customers okay. or they had the mistake and then they were not able to sell them but they still use them for parties and activities. Then you see, you can see different colors, different tests. We're ready for mermaids to use them for the next activity. And here we have a mermaid tail with a zipper at the back, then you can open the doors open. That's hiding it, and then zipper here. That way it's easier to get in, and it's invisible at the back. A big piece of paper and we'll lay the tail down. Um, we have our airbrush gun back there. We have to wear masks because it's very toxic. But basically what we do, silicone has two parts. It will not cure if you don't mix the two parts evenly. So we basically pour the B first. We'll mix the pigment in with it and then we'll pour the A on top so that it'll start to set up. And we mix it with this stuff. Napa that thins it so that's able to go on like a paint instead of a spread more or less. I'll for the painting section. Yeah. All of our thickness. Oh wow. Yeah. And check in all the colors. We have can you show one for example. <laughs> that's a lot of colors. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here. <laughs> a lot of silicone oh. here. And more. 